very concerned about global warming, or is um, is that a hoax in your world? I don't know. I lose sleep over it every night. You what? I lose sleep over it every night. The warming know, of the globe. Whether, I don't know whether you're being facetious. Oh my or... God! I, I I shiver every night when I go to sleep. Are you global warming? I assume you're being sarcastic. I would be very serious. Why would I be sarcastic? I mean, global warming is the number one issue in the world. Okay, good. Do you agree with that? I do. Tell me why. See, I think you don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, <laughs> why? Because um, a few what do you worry about? A few years ago, someone did a, a um, Al Gore. Did a, Al Gore, yes. You're right. You're right, David. Um, you know what? It's a big hoax because Al Gore has a big house and he, sometimes he leaves lights on in it. Oh, my God. Um, no, they did, uh, someone did a compendium of all the climate studies. There was over 10, I think it was 10,880 of them, some, some number like that. And there was only two dissenting about the idea that climate change was real and it was happening and it was caused by humans. So that's a consensus. That's what you call a consensus. I mean, you and I, I think, are closer on the same page with vaccines and so forth. Like, And that's because the human body is a lot more complicated and a lot more mysterious than climate science. That's why there's nowhere near that kind of consensus about how we treat any malady in the human body. That is the bottom of the ocean. Not so with the climate. It's not that complicated climate. I mean, I couldn't do it, but climate science, it's geology and it's chemistry and it's some physics. It's not a mystery like why do people get Parkinson's disease? It just isn't. So, um, oh shit, what was your question? <laughs> <laughs> climate change. No, we were oh, talking climate about change, climate yes. change. Yes, but but when when over ten thousand uh, scientists all study the same subject and come up to the same, and two don't, uh, you can yes, you can say um, there's a dissenting field, but they could fit on a motorcycle. So yes, uh, I think it's very and and again we see the results already. I mean, it, uh, now is it possible that we can raise the level of the ocean and not be met with disaster because of that? I guess it is. They, I mean, I guess there are things that could also change, but that's going to happen. It's kind of like when the Titanic hit the iceberg and she talks to Victor Garber and he says, well, lady, I hate to tell you, but uh, there's nine compartments on this ship, and if only four of them had flooded, we'd be good, but five did, and that means we're going down. We're just going to go down. So uh, it's unlikely that you have some sort of lover you care about on the ship, but if you do, now would be a good time to run Get it down. done with, yeah. Go, yeah. go, go do it now. This will be your last chance. But uh, no, uh, we, we have hit the iceberg, I think, so, you know, those that those icebergs and stuff is are melting they will raise the and it's a it's a it's a kind of a cycle because the the worse you make it the worse you make it um so oceans and then less ice to absorb all that and it's just it's just throwing something off balance not to mention the incredible um, decimation of species that we're doing i don't know how many species you can kill i mean if it's just going to be chickens dogs and cats it's going to be it's going to be bleak and i don't know if you can even survive i think the ecosystem needs its component parts although obviously it can sustain a lot of extinction because almost everything that ever was on earth has been extinct i mean if everything that was ever alive was still alive <laughs> it'd be very crowded at the zoo Anyway, I am. I do. I'm concerned about the environment, and I. How do you, I think, also, how do you think we fix this? So, like, you know, we have. Uh, uh, I think uh, uh, it's it's fair to say, like, there's a lot of weird things going on to weathers around the world, right? Like, not you know, weather around the world, hurricanes. You know, San Diego. You're seeing videos, and you say, "Oh, Germany." I said, like, "What is all this stuff?" I mean, this is too crazy right now to be looking at it. The other day, I'm in Fort Lauderdale. A tornado hit Fort Lauderdale. Okay, these are kind of weird things that's going on simultaneously. What's the solution? How do we fix it? You know, what is the approach to take it? I think that becomes the question, right? You identify the problem, then you sit there and yeah. say, what is the solution? Yeah, I agree. Of course. I mean, that's, that's exactly what we're talking about. And no, I don't think it's always about throwing money at the problem. Um, I also don't think, I, this was something we did about a year ago, 
I also don't think that the method that we have basically been using or trying to use for the longest time, which is make people be good or want to be good, plainly is not working. I think the amount of coal we burned 30 years ago was like it was like 38% of the grid and now it was now it like the last year it was 37 you know like we shaved one point off of it um so i don't know what the answer is um and i'm not encouraging people to be pigs but apparently they're going to be it's just in our nature to be fucking pigs and to pig out on convenience and luxury and excess you know maybe it's because it gets you late i don't know what the fuck but people or makes you i don't know shopping and it, people just like shit, <laughs> they like buying shit and making shit, and, and uh, they just do. It, they it, like they it, like want to live their fucking life, and sometimes the the result is not great for the environment. Anyway, I mean, I fly in a private jet. You probably do too. You know, is it? Uh, I, I said before, I can be called a bad environmentalist. I cannot be called a hypocrite. So I'm not going to say I'm a, the greatest environmentalist, and I'm also not going to, I couldn't do these gigs I do. And I wouldn't even, if, even I was taking it somewhere for pleasure. Fuck that. <laughs> you know what? I'm, yes, there's a certain part of me that's going to live life while I'm here. It, look, if, if I thought it was really making a difference to the 8 trillion flights or whatever it is every day that are crisscrossing the globe, you know, make it illegal if it's really, and they're not gonna do that. So the point, the bottom line point is that we're gonna have to think of something because making humans not act selfishly is just, it's just, it's like, that's what communism tried to do. It tried to make people well, not act easy. selfishly. Yeah. And that is never yeah. going, that was never going to work. Humans yeah. are selfish. So if you like this clip and you wanna watch another one, click right here. And if you wanna watch the entire podcast, click right here.